Blair in Wembley. Shoulder comes in, head comes in from Green. Finding a rough, tough fight against Stracey, the former world champion. And Stracey defences all astray as Green slashes into him again. He's a country boy and the fighting style is agricultural too. He comes in like a threshing machine. And unless Tracy finds something to keep him away, he's going to lose this. Now, the vision must be blurred by the swelling over that left eye. Fighting amidst a sea, a storm of arms, and they all belong to Green. Heads go together again. again from Green, Harry gives Green the right back to sign, and it's as plain as a pike staff that he's saying to him, if you do that again, you'll be out. Gibbs will stand no nonsense. And that, at the moment, is the way Green could really lose this fight suddenly, by using that head again. He could win this fight for Stracey by being careless. Tracy trying to drag up some of the class that he has and it's hard to find it amidst the storm. seconds of round four. And Green. Green looks tired, but if he's tired, what must Tracy be like? Look at that. Rubbing the head in there. Gibbs having a little chat with them, saying, all right, it's a good fight, but don't let it get out of hand. There's a load of grease on Stracey's left eye, and Harry Gibbs has said nothing about it. Not quite the same aggressive green. a couple of right hands and another one punches that Tracy should avoid and there's nothing in his legs punches coming from way back that he wouldn't have been caught with a year ago and he's not seeing them coming and that might be because of the swelling over the left eye maybe he can't see that right hand coming at him it's coming from way back and he's getting caught with it and it seems to go right down to his boots this is not the Stracy of a year ago, not by a long chalk. And he's hurt again. The whole of Stracy's career now, hanging by a thread. 
doesn't seem to know what to do. He's trying to keep the left eye out of harm's way. And he almost doubles in half again as that sweeping right hand scythes at him. Everything agricultural about this boy. And Green is going for a win in the fifth. And it's almost there for him. He can't keep Green away. And Strace is almost giving up. He can't take much more. Ten seconds to go, and he'll only just about get there. Gibbs is having a good look at him. He turns his head away. Strace doesn't know what to do, and there's the bell. And that saved him, and his eyes giving him trouble. It's a question of whether Green can go on with his eye. It's almost shut. Great swelling of flesh over the left eye. Almost completely closed now. And it's almost as though he doesn't really have the heart to go on. He's blowing, puffing, grimacing. And still the man from Chatteris works on him. 11 to 8 against Green was. You won't find that now. He's 10 to 1 on. It isn't as though they're very good punches that are catching Stracey. They're wild, flailing punches. But the ex-world champion is still getting caught with them. He turns that left eye away again. tries to dredge the punches from the past to do away with this man. Green's laughing at him. Tracy said something to him and Green's laughing at him. And Green and Tracy are being told by Gibbs to calm it down. You don't often see fights full of hate, but this one is it. Stacey coming back to one or two quite good punches. One minute to go in the sixth. against a man brimming over with ambition. Not quite the same strength in Green's punches as there was. There's very little in Green's punches at the moment. And if Stracy just gets a little confidence back, there's no telling what might happen even now. They don't hear the bell again, or 